Hey, hey, good morning. Hope you're having a good morning so far. Um, I just finished a workout and I wanted to chat with you. A bird just like dive bomb me. Um, I just wanted to chat with you about water and hydration really quick. Um, this week in my hydration, I mean in my uh, weekly challenge, um, we are doing a hydration challenge. It's just such an easy thing to do, but it's also so very important for our health. So I just finished a workout. And in that workout, I sweat like crazy because it was a cardio workout. So um, I drank a hydration drink, and it's um, something that has electrolytes and things like that. So when you think of that, you probably think of like Gatorade or um, what is the uh, Power Aid or something like that. So you probably think of one of those drinks um, when you think of a hydration drink. It is similar to that. But what I want to share with y'all, and I'm no expert on this, I'm just sharing what I have learned in my journey. Um, what I wanted to share with y'all is if you are going to be out in the sun, in the heat, and you are, um, are wanting to replace electrolytes that you're losing in a lot of sweat. Hey Sally, how are you? Um, if you're wanting to replace those electrolytes, then um, whatever drink you grab, if it's not water, be mindful of how much sugar it has in it. They make some now, like Gatorade has a version, I think it's called G2, but I might be wrong, um, that's a lower sugar content drink. So that's what you want to kind of look for if you're going to get one of those. However, water is the best thing for you in most cases, unless you're doing a strenuous workout, if you're, unless you're doing something strenuous and pro prolonged outside, then most likely water is just fine and you don't need to add those extra calories in um, because those extra calories do count towards what you're doing. So if you're um, wanting to lose weight, if you're working on that, um, that's where they tend to sneak in. That's where they snuck in for me. I used to drink every day. I'd stop at Sonic. I don't know if y'all live in the land of Sonic, but they um, are like a drive-in um, fast food place, kind of like an old timey one, like in maybe the 50s, 60s, I think. Um, but you drive in and you can order drinks and different things and they have a happy hour from two to four in the afternoon. So I would, when I was doing my job, I would drive into one of those every single day. And I'd get me a huge 44 ounce drink and it was cherry limeade. So one day I was getting one and I was talking to somebody else and they were like, yeah, but they have so many calories. And I had never thought about the fact that my drink would have calories and sugar and stuff like that. And just cutting out those sweet drinks made a huge difference in what I was doing every day. And when I first started um, kind of being mindful of my habits and stuff and wanting to fit better in my clothes and feel better about myself and get rid of the third post baby weight um, and uh, all the grad school pounds that I put on when I wanted to start getting rid of that stuff. I, those are the first things I started being mindful of. But I hear a lot of times people will be like, well, I'm drinking Gatorade. Um, when they're out in the sun and stuff. Just be mindful of that. Don't grab one that's like really high in sugar because it's really not helping you in the way that you think it is. Um, and for the most part, drinking water is fine. Now, yesterday I saw a patient who was only a few years older than me and who is on dialysis, who is in complete kidney failure. And he said that he used to never ever drink water. He has some other disorders, uh, not diabetes actually, but he has some other disorders that contributed to his kidney failure, but a huge part of it was his hydration. So um, just think about water, it's kind of like a, it's like flushing, it's like a waterfall and it's flushing out your kidneys. It's flushing out all of those things that your kidneys are trying to filter out of your body because that's pretty much what the kidneys are. Um, so you need a ton of water and most of your body is made up of water so um, really try to um, focus on that especially when it's hot you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces and if you're sweating if you're working out if you're outside sweating then you need to compensate for that and drink more I have already this morning had a pre-workout drink my hydration drink I'm getting ready to do my um, post-workout recover drink and I had my superfood smoothie this morning too and then I'll probably still have some more water before I walk out the door. This is why I have to stop at the bathroom all the time while I'm working. So I always have to be mindful of where the bathrooms are. So that's been a struggle for me as well. So I just wanted to share that because um, that's something I didn't think about early on in my journey with how much sugar I was putting in my body from drinks like that. So um, Gatorade, Powerade, those things, look for the low sugar version, look at the label and avoid ones that have artificial sweeteners. Just because they're low sugar and then they add in an artificial sweetener, that's not so good. I personally don't think that artificial sweeteners are good for you and I avoid them at all costs. All right. So y'all have a great day. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching Sally. Y'all have a good one.